Now recently we got the Boeing 777X added to the flight sim, which I find really interesting, not only because of the foldable wingtips of course, but also because of the notorious brand new engines that the 777X has, or what well, will have when it eventually enters passenger service in like 25,000 years. Everybody, this is the GE9X engine, which is the largest and most powerful aircraft engine in the world. It's got a huge fan diameter, 320. 25 centimeters. So this thing is so much bigger than even like a trailer truck. And yes, it does set a world record, 134,000 pounds of thrust, almost 600 kilonewtons, making it even more powerful than the GE90 engine, its predecessor that was built into the normal 777s. And I mean, look at just the exhaust we create here. <laughs> this is crazy. In a recent video, I strapped these engines on other planes, for example, 747 and Figured, yes, even the 7478 could be powered by the GE9X engine. I mean, look at this. We can take off right now, especially. Oh, that was a tail strike. Either way, this is the 777X, extremely big and very, very heavy. I mean, try to find any other two engines that are able to propel 347 tons into the air. But everybody, we're Swiss 001, so I think it's time to find out can we boost the power? Right now, we're delivering 127,000 pounds. I want more. The question, though, is how? The only way to really make this engine any more powerful is by increasing its size even more, but then it wouldn't be able to fit under any wing. There is a big reason why the 777X stands quite high on the ground. You know, the landing gear really has to raise up that airplane in order for the engines not to be on the ground. I mean, fitting the GE9X engine onto a 7478, not really possible because they uh, just scrape the ground. But of course, there is always a second way to turbocharge a jet engine. We're gonna steal a technology from airplanes like this, a fighter jet. This plane has jet engines that are not far from the GE9X, but where the GE9X engine would end here, they have another nozzle on top. Basically, the jet engine air goes through the nozzle and here is a fuel injection device. Yep, actual jet fuel is just being spritzed into this cocktail of air. And because the air is so hot, and we can see that right now happening, let's take a close look into the F-14. You can see the fuel spritzering system right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give more power. And as we give more power, yep, this is fuel being spritzed into this hot gas. The gas is so hot, the fuel just ignites and creates proper after burnage, ladies and gentlemen. The good thing is, this technology also works on the GE9X engine. As you can see, I've added a black nozzle to the exhaust of the GE9X. When we look through it, we can see the fuel spritzeration um, device. Look, and all I need to do is give in power, and just like in the fighter jet, we should see... Yes, it works. It's not as beautifully animated, but everybody, this is our brand new turbocharged airplane. In fact, this has so much power now that even when the parking brake is engaged, we are so ready. I invite you guys to an air show, but not only this one, but the biggest aviation Expo in Germany. Yes, everybody. Next year, I will be attending the Aero 2026 in Friedrichshafen in Germany. Indeed, the leading general aviation show. It is from the 22nd to the 25th of April next year, and the ticket shop is now open. And for Christmas, they have a 20% discount on the ticket. Just use the code Aero 2026 Xmas until the 31st of December on checkout. Learn all about aviation in the 12 exhibit halls of of the expo. 756 exhibitors will be there, including flight schools, airplane manufacturers, and loads of flight simulation stuff as well. Join me and 32,000 other annual visitors and experience the magic of flying in this special week next April. Once again, book your ticket early now to get the exclusive 20% discount before Christmas. All right, back to flight sim fun. You may wonder now, Swiss, how much power increase can an afterburner achieve? And actually, it's quite a lot. It definitely depends on how much fuel you want to inject, but it's very possible for an afterburner on an engine to double the power of the engine. Meaning that we literally now, you can see that going, that number's going up, that number's going up very much. Oh my God, we are at uh, 250,000 pounds of thrust per engine and the brakes cannot keep up. Now, obviously the, uh, the cost of this now is fuel. 
which is kind of the main point of the GE9X is to be fuel efficient. We've definitely ruined that. Oh my god, we're just able to take off like this. We are right now burning 80,000 gallons of fuel per hour. <laughs> uh, which is nearly 80 times as much as the normal 777 would. Meaning that we will probably run out of fuel within like 30 minutes. Um, but only if you do go full power, which by the way has gone really well now. We are flying really quick. Now I kind of broke the cockpit here. I don't know why we can see through it. But look at the climb rate of our new 777X that can literally fly anywhere now. Now why don't we just climb pretty much like a rocket? No, this will be definitely great for Lutanda. This is the greatest idea ever. They would definitely use this feature. The good thing is that after take off now that we've burned like a ton of fuel we can just turn off the afterburner and the plane flies like normal maybe we should turn it off and on again oh my goodness we're actually crashing so for a very stalled takeoff performance this will be nice uh so this plane would definitely help you for example take off from the shortest runway in the world which is probably would like how would that happen because the plane has to get here somewhere how in the fur First place, let's go ahead and go full power. Um, and just see, this should this should kind of work, right? We can definitely create. I mean, just the thrust will create lift on its own, right? So let's go full power right there. We're now developing loads of thrust. So come on. Um, okay, that hasn't worked. Yeah, this is. I just realized how dumb this actually is. Like, there's just no improvement at all to this. But yeah, definitely the minimum runway requirement uh, is definitely lowered. That's true. But this airplane is just so big that we haven't like made a magically flying airplane that will just take off everywhere. Look, so yeah, we definitely, we definitely overran that one. But look at our immense performance right now. The question is, can this airplane fly supersonic? Let's find out. Come on, tune GE9X engines. Give me everything you got. Now, the problem is that we are climbing so incredibly quickly now with this airplane that our pressurization system can't really keep up and we actually slowly pass out. We probably need to wear an oxygen mask. Either way, the airplane is now really comfortable flying at quite high altitudes. We're now at 46,000 feet, and we are slowly reaching quite high Mach numbers. We've got Mach 0 0.96, but the problem is we're not able to really surpass that at all, mainly because the wing, the nose, the entire design of the airplane is just not made for breaking the sound barrier. We would need a very differently shaped airplane and even differently shaped engines, to be honest. Yeah, just the drag that we have from these huge engines limit the maximum speed it can achieve, which for this flight sim model at least is Mach 0.9. So no, there is genuinely no use for this. In fact, not only do we have the problem of running out of fuel very soon, but also we kill the engine very quickly. There's just high temperatures, high pressures now, so that the turbine of our engine is probably gonna last like a few minutes. So this is absolutely stupid. And we haven't even talked about the problems with noise. This would probably be the loudest thing known to humanity. This thing would probably be as loud as the Saturn V rocket. So it would genuinely like shatter windows in the vicinity. Uh, so get some good window insurance, am I right? So I think the learning of today's video is to leave these poor $30 million jet engines alone and uh, not put afterburners to them. Although this is, uh, this is kind of cool, I must say. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Once again, join me at the Arrow and free yourself in next year, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. The special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.